Hey guys, it's Apple Tips and Tricks here, and today I'm going to be showing you Mac's equivalent to CCleaner. A lot of you who have moved from Windows will be familiar with CCleaner. It's basically just a program that can clean up your computer and stuff. You don't delete unnecessary files, old files, stuff like that. And I'm here to show you the equivalent for Mac. So go ahead and open up your web browser. I'm using Firefox. And navigate to this link, or you can Google Onyx. I think that's how you say it at least. I'll put the link to this in the description as well, so you can just click there if you want. So it's got a little description about it. I should open up the developer's website for you guys. So here it is, Titanium Software. Not a very good website, but a very good program. And you can just either you can download the beta, or you can download the proper release. I'll just stick with the proper release for now, because I don't want to put you guys onto a beta that's you know, going to damage a computer or something. It, it won't, but you know, there's always a possibility with betas because they haven't fully gone through the testing procedures yet. So you can either just open it up in Disk Image Mounter or you can save it. I'll just open it up because there's no, no need to keep the DMG really. So, okay. Just going to download now. And then time remaining. It's 13 megabytes. So I'll just skip the video until it's finished downloading. Hey guys, sorry about that. Um, it's all downloaded now, and since I chose to open the disk image file, it's popped up like this. But if you chose save, you'll just need to double click on the DMG file, and you'll get this. So, drag the icon to the applications or utilities folder of your hard disk. So, open up Finder. Oh, so we've already got Finder open here, so I'm just going to go File, New Finder Window, and here we've got this. So in the side here, you might have applications there, but if you don't, click on your name or your whatever you've called your user. Um, it'll say here where it says Log Out. Yeah, it should be called that, and go to Applications, or else, yeah, just click on Applications here. Drag the icon, to, so you just can drag it across. I'm putting it in my applications. Yeah, so you can either put it in there, you can put it wherever really, but drag it to there. And it's just going to transfer, should just take a few seconds, and it's done. And close that now. And so it's all installed, you can unmount this and remove the DMG file if you wish. Okay, so open it up now, and we're going to get an error can't be open because it's from an unidentified developer. Because I'm running 10.9 we're getting this and I think anything 10.8 onwards probably will. And that's because of a new security feature called Gatekeeper. Um, I've got a video on how to disable Gatekeeper and I'll just put a link to it here if you want to use that or else we'll, I'll show you a temporary workaround that you can just do when you want to run this. It's kind of an annoying feature so yeah if you do want to disable it that's a good video to watch. So you can go just right click it, and for you, those of you who don't have right click enabled, command click will do it. And then show uh, open, and just press open. So that's just a temporary workaround, but you'd need to do that each time if you don't disable Gatekeeper. And that's the same with any apps, basically, from a unregistered developer, I think it is. Basically stuff not from the App Store. So it's going to ask you for your administrator name and password. Hopefully you know it. And then you'll get in. Here you have a software agreement. You can read through that if you want. This is quite a short one. It's about it being freeware. You acknowledge and agree to Onyx software at so risk. So it's saying at your own risk, blah blah blah. Display at launch. We don't want it every time, so untick and agree. You'll get this every so often, it won't happen every time though, so we'll go continue. Okay, so I want to verify the structure of the volume. I'll do this, because we need to do it so we can do the maintenance and cleaning, and this is just again for the first time you run it. So I'll press continue, and I'll just skip the video until it's finished. So here we can go into maintenance, but since this is about the CCleaner alternative, we'll go into cleaning. There's a few different things here, but what will we concern with cleaning? 
So you've got a few different tabs. You can clear the cache, the boot, kernel, international preferences, quick time clients or decompense. So go through, tick what you feel like. I'll just leave the default ticked. The user, you can clear the cache for all of these. Internet, what you can change. Search previews, bookmark icons, you can clear your cookies if you want, etc. And form values, that's like your logins and stuff. But I'll leave that because it's quite handy to still have that. You can delete the fonts cache. Um, I'm not going to do that because the uh, apps can take a bit longer to load them and stuff. Delete log files, bash files. This is all fine. Saved versions of the documents. I'll keep all that. Recent items. So basically just deleting old things, deleting recent things, past iTunes libraries, and empty the trash. If you have something in there you want to make sure it's completely deleted and wiped again, you can do secure delete, but I think that rewrites everything with ones and zeros. And you know, so it goes through, does it a few times to make sure it can't be recovered. So I'll just use normal delete so it doesn't take too long. So yeah, you choose in here what you want. And you go ahead and press execute. So it's going to quit all your open applications just so there's no problems. Press continue. So that probably took about a minute or two. So the cleaning commands have been executed. So that's all done. It's cleaned. Restart your computer now. I'm not going to restart it because I'm obviously making this video and I need to stop the video and edit it and stuff. But you can either restart it now or next time you restart it will take effect. So I'm just going to go close. Not restart it and close out of there. Do you really want to quit? Quit. So I hope you guys liked that video. And it's not identical to CCleaner, obviously, but it is a good alternative. Um, just quickly run over the steps again. We downloaded it from the thing, from the link in the description, opened it up, dragged it through into the applications folder, right click that, pressed open, clicked on open again, and then went to the cleaning section and ticked what you wanted and pressed execute. And that's about it really. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you have any problems or anything, just comment and check out the rest of my videos. Thank you.